Hello there and welcome. Well, it's time to cue up the band Queen because, yeah, another one bites the dust. Adobe got a taste for taking out one of its primary competitors and has purchased Figma, the innovative design platform. The cost? A whopping 20 billion, that's billion with a B, dollars. By the way, that's the same valuation that Snapchat has right now for a design platform that your team is definitely, probably not using. So what gives? Well, this is the news you need to lead in content marketing. Hello everybody, Robert Rose here with the news. It's what's new, but you know, it's more importantly, what's important in the world of content marketing. And for the best and best practices, you know you can head over to contentmarketinginstitute.com. So while we were off celebrating Content Marketing World last week, the world of design was rocked when it found out that Adobe had acquired Figma, the makers of the small but mighty and very popular among its users suite of UI and UX design tools. The company has really flown under the radar, except for its legions of fans, of course. Estimates are that somewhere around 4 million people use Figma. That's about 20% of the same number that subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, the big news is that Adobe paid an astounding $20 billion for the company, or roughly a multiplier of 50 times their annual revenue. To put that into perspective, if you're a freelancer making 100 k per year and freelancing your creative services as a solopreneur, that would be like somebody coming in and saying, I'll offer you $5 million for the exclusive rights to your service. I think the appropriate answer to that question is, yeah, I think I'll do that. Designers on the internet worried out loud that Adobe's main motivation for buying Figma would be to just take it off the market completely or ruin it in some way. Others worry that Adobe may take some of the cool, innovative features and just bury them into Adobe Creative Cloud and just disintegrate the core product. Adobe said neither of those things are worth worrying about, indicating that they really like both the company and the products it creates. The market? Not so much. They did not like the acquisition, and Adobe's stock dropped almost 20% on news of the acquisition. What's our take here at CMI? Well, on the surface, this deal... It makes a lot of sense from a company trying to buy a competitive product and incorporating its best features, but I don't think it actually makes a lot of financial sense at all. First of all, I feel like the deal is a combination of stock and cash, and since we're at a 52-week low in Adobe stock and they seemingly overpaid, it's going to become even more expensive if Adobe stock starts to rise, which it inevitably will, of course. Now, also, at 4 million users, they're going to have to have a ton of those users of Figma pay exponentially more to even start to make a story about the recurring revenue story that they might have wanted to pay for this acquisition, adding to the bottom line. Basically, the only way this deal makes any sense to me is if Adobe saw Figma as some existential threat. It had to be taken out. They basically got out of their James Bond car, looked across the street, saw a much more handsome and dashing secret agent putting on a 007 uniform, and went, nope, that can't happen. So it might hurt a lot, but they just can't replace me no matter what the cost. Basically, here's the question. How much of your company would you give away if you could take out a competitor forever that was some existential threat to your existence? You might eat brown bag lunches for a while to make that acquisition happen. If you're an investor of Figma, on the other hand, this might be the biggest gift you've ever been given. So congratulations on them for a hugely successful exit. Now, if you're contemplating design suites for your team, your content team, or your design team, well, I'd be careful about how much you invest in Figma right now and thinking about it, because it just might go away. And Adobe, well, it just became, you know, a lot more attractive at the dance, because it's the only one left at the dance. Anyway, that's it. That's five minutes of news that hopefully you need to lead in content marketing. I'm Robert Rose, and I'll see you again next week. And remember, it's your story to tell. Tell it well. Well.